Get the latest now on Jody Arias. After her jury deadlocked on the death penalty, the convicted killer is tweeting again from behind bars, and there is all kinds of controversy over the prosecutor's call for a new penalty trial. ABC's John Triffin has the latest. The her trial over, but her fate in limbo. Jody Arias is once again not shying away from the spotlight. No unanimous agreements. The convicted murderer took to Twitter Monday, this time quoting author Maya Angelou. When you learn, teach, she tweeted. When you get, give. What Arias is getting this morning is support from a growing chorus of people who think prosecutors should drop their death penalty case against her. I just don't think it's worth the amount of money they want to spend in order to kill this woman. Give her life without parole and let's be finished with this case. In a scathing new editorial, the Arizona Republic argues prosecutors should not seat a new jury to rehear the penalty phase of Arias's case. First degree murder guilty. Twelve jurors agreed to convict the 32-year-old of murdering her ex-boyfriend Travis Alexander on May the 8th, but deadlocked on the death penalty. With a new jury, the paper's editorial board writes, the trial would drag on, adding to its multi-million dollar cost. By extending mercy to Arias, prosecutors can grant mercy to this community as well. It was a very trying experience to, to weigh someone's life. In an exclusive interview, some of Arias' jurors told me they wonder if a new jury will be able to make a different decision. Because it's not a full trial. That's going to be a horrendous task for, for people. The jurors are not going to get as much of an impact as they did the first time. You know, a summary doesn't work like sitting there for five months. And while the county attorney could decide to drop the death penalty, giving Arias a guaranteed life sentence, in a statement moments after her conviction, he said he'd retry the case. I still feel like we let the system down because we weren't able to come to a unanimous decision. A unanimous decision that will now have to be reached by a new jury when it begins hearing evidence as early as July. For Good Morning America, John Schriffen, ABC News, Los Angeles. Boy, we'll see what the prosecutor does with all that pressure. Mm -hmm.